Let's have a look at using the Sage 300 ERP web portal. We'll have a look at navigating the Sage 300 ERP portal interface. We'll have a look at using shortcuts and how to configure shortcuts. We'll have a look at snapshots and how to configure snapshots. We'll look at creating queries using the inquiry tool. We'll look at drilling down into the appropriate data from the original report. And finally, we'll look at getting help within Sage 300 ERP using user assistance. The Sage 300 ERP portal is supported by the four major browsers. That includes Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. In this example, we're going to have a look at using the Sage 300 ERP portal using Google Chrome. To start the Sage 300 ERP portal, click on Start, All Programs, click Sage, expand Sage 300 ERP 2012, and then finally click on Sage 300 ERP portal. The following interface will appear. To sign into Sage 200 ERP, in the user ID field, select the appropriate user that you're going to log in with. The password field, enter the appropriate password for that user. In the company field, click on the drop down arrow and select the appropriate company that you're going to log into. In this case, Sample Company Inc. is the only company that is available. In the session date field, select the appropriate session date. You can either enter the session date or you can click on that calendar icon to select the appropriate session. In this case, we're going to log in using a session date of June 30th, 2020. Finally, to log in to Sage 300, click on Sign In. Once you've successfully logged into Sage 300 ERP, you will be presented with the following UI. This is the Sage 300 ERP portal. Let's have a look at the layout of the Sage 300 ERP web portal. In the top part of the window, I can see the user that is currently logged into the system. That user in this case is administrator. The session date is June 1st, 2020, and I'm currently logged into Sample Company Inc. Notice that there is an option where I can access help. If I wanted to change my password, I can click on the appropriate link. And obviously, if I wanted to sign out of the company, I would click on sign out. In the section immediately below the top bar, I can see that there are three buttons, tasks, reports, and inquiry. Most of the primary functions that can be accessed within Sage 300 ERP can be found within tasks. When I click on tasks, you'll notice that two submenus appear. There's the browse submenu as well as the setup submenu. Most of the time, we will be using the functions under the browse subtab. You'll notice that the modules are listed in alphabetical order under browse. If I wanted to create a journal entry in general ledger, I would select general ledger. I would then browse down to the transaction section and I would select journal entry. If I wanted to set up a particular function in any module, for example, if I wanted to be able to create a brand new terms code in the accounts payable module, I would click on the setup subtab. I would select the appropriate module, in this case accounts payable, and then I would select terms on the right hand side. And I would set up the terms as I normally would. If I wanted to be able to print reports in the Sage 200 ERP portal, I would select the reports button. Again, I have two subtabs. I have the Browse tab as well as the Setup tab. If I wanted to be able to print reports, such as the AP Batch Listing or the AP Posting Journal, I would select the appropriate module on the left-hand side, and I would select the appropriate report that I wish to print on the right-hand side. If I wanted to print a report that pertained to Setup, for example, if I wanted to see how my accounts receivable module was set up and print out the AR options, I would select the Setup tab. I would then select the appropriate module, in this case, Accounts Receivable, and then select options. And the options report for the AR would print. If I wanted to be able to create queries using the inquiry tool, I would select the inquiry button. If you wanted to be able to access frequently used icons, you could add them to the shortcuts area in the shortcuts section. So currently we can see that there are shortcuts for AP invoice entry, GL journal entry, AR invoice entry, and so on and so forth. The icons that exist here are completely customizable. I can reorder the shortcuts as necessary. I can even remove existing shortcuts and add new ones. In the section down here, I can see the appropriate tabs for all of the functions that are currently open. Right now, home is selected. So in this case, I'm able to see what are called snapshots. The snapshots are graphical representations of the key performance indicators for any given company. Other tabs can appear here as well. So if I was to create brand new reports using the query tab, or if I was to launch, for example, the balance sheet report from within the snapshot, I'll select view balance sheet. 
you'll notice that the balance sheet report will show up in a brand new tab. This is an example of how the portal is laid out.